Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. Officials now say more than 400 people have been sickened and nine people have died. to the streets, <laughs> chanting the names of black lives lost. A summer of racial unrest now turning into a call to action to vote on election day. Eight people known to have died since Monday alone and thousands continuing to shelter in evacuation centres, the terrifying scale of Australia's bushfire disaster is beginning to emerge. in COVID hell. In just 24 hours, the U.S. has broken every record set since the pandemic began 10 months ago, with more new infections, hospitalizations, and deaths in a single day than ever. So many Americans are now being killed by the virus. Four people have died just since this broadcast began. That's a rate of one life lost every 30 seconds. from Lebanon. The capital, Beirut, has been hit by a massive explosion. Dozens of people are said to be injured and there are some reports of people trapped under the rubble. We're going to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I love Pennsylvania. And we're going to the capital. We're going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. We will rebuild, reconcile, and recover in every known nook of our nation, in every corner called our country. Our people, diverse and beautiful, will emerge battered and beautiful. When day comes, we step out of the shade of flame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. If, if only we're brave enough to, to be it. it.